Now let's take a look at some resonance effects. So in resonance effects, electrons can be donated into the ring or withdrawn from the ring by resonance. And with resonance, remember we're kind of dealing with lone pairs and pi bonds. So that's what we move through resonance. So in the first case, we can think about electron donation. So here is an OH, and we know that that is a strong donating group. The reason for that is because of the lone pairs on that oxygen. With those being next to the ring, through resonance, those can donate their electrons into the ring. So here's the other resonance structure, and you can see that electrons are being put on the ring. So here we push electron density onto the ring by resonance. All right now let's tie this into the reactions that we're talking about, electrophilic aromatic substitutions. In these cases, the rings are reacting with an electrophile, E+. So more electron density on the ring makes this more nucleophilic and more reactive toward the electrophile. All right, the contrast is electron withdrawal by resonance. So here's a case where we have the carbonyl bonded to the ring. And what I can do here is take the pi electrons in the ring. Those will get pulled out of the ring. And we push those up to the oxygen as a negative charge. So let's keep track of everything. This oxygen already has two lone pairs. So when we take these electrons out of the ring, we leave a positive charge right here. We end up with a pi bond right here. So we'll put that right there. And then the oxygen already had two lone pairs and because of the pi bond that we shifted up onto the oxygen it gained a third lone pair. Three lone pairs that'll have a negative charge. So here we're taking electron density away from the ring. 